Well, hello everyone. I hope you're ready today to learn how to transform the vibrations of the universe through a little tantric meditation I invented called Fiddling Through the Chakras. So first of all, let me introduce you to the chakras we'll be working with. Dun, 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 dun. All right, that kind of hurt a little bit. All right, so last time we talked about major scales, and a lot of people are familiar with the chakras being represented with the colors of the rainbow. Uh, no, maybe a little fewer people know that it's said that the chakras, the seven major chakras in a series, resonate with the C major scale. And so that's a really great opportunity to use music to connect to your chakras. So let's talk about the seven major chakras. Let's see if you can see this one up here. Go stand like this. All right. This is the Mooladhara or root chakra, having to do with trust, security, sense of groundedness or belonging. All right. Represented by the syllable LAM, the sound O. It's red. Okay, this orange one right here is the VOM. That's the syllable VOM and the sound U. That's the Swadhisthana or sacral chakra. Having to do with creativity, power, sexuality, relationships, things like that. Okay, right here, yellow. This nice sunny yellow one is the solar plexus chakra, or the Manipura, and it's represented by the note E, that's the third degree of the C major scale. And it's funny to me because when I was a kid I used to always think about different colors that I associated with different notes. And E was always a very yellow note to me, so it's interesting that that's the yellow chakra. Especially this E on the violin. Uh, so, that's the syllable ROM and the sound E, ah, ah. Okay, up here over my heart is the heart chakra, the Anahata. And it's represented by the syllable YAM, or the sound A and it's green and I think it's an interesting thing that the color green also has to do with the goddess Venus the goddess of love and I'm not sure that's a coincidence up here we have the throat chakra let me show you that from behind my beard the Vishuddha chakra having to do with communication self-expression free will faith and that's represented by the syllable HOM and the sound E. E. So when I want to express myself, I say E. All right. And uh, up here, let me show you this one. This is the third eye chakra. I had it covering my third eye. It's the Ajna. It has to do with awareness, open mindedness, divine reason, seeing the big picture. And its syllable is om, and it has a more resonant sound, mmm. So you see all the other ones have to do with uh, a, an open vowel sound, and this is a more closed resonant sound. We have the same thing going on up here. You didn't see that one, did you? The, sh the crown chakra. Let me take that one down for you. The Sahasrara having to do with spirituality, self-knowledge, connection to the divine. And that's the note B. Also the syllable Om, like the third eye chakra. And also it has a, a more resonant closed sound, which is ah, mm, it's a real nasal sound. Alright, so let me get to the meditation. And so I like to just play the note of the scale representing the chakra 
and maybe play around with some other things like notes in that triad or even the scale going up from there. Uh, while I sing the syllables, I kind of alternate between the syllable and the sound associated with it. So starting with the root chakra, we're thinking about this part of our body right here and being groundedness, groundedness and everything and uh, the syllable lom. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go up the, the triad there. C, La, O, La, Alright, doing the thing, same thing, moving up to the orange one. Okay, the sacral chakra, syllable VOM, moving up to the D. VOM. Ooh. Oh no, my throat fell down. We're gonna have to focus extra on the meditation on our throat if your chakra falls off. It's always serious. Okay. Up here, solar plexus, rom, ah, no e, rom. All right, so you see, you can keep playing around with that. And I'd like to note that usually I play my violin with a shoulder rest. But to do this exercise, I like to not use the shoulder rest. And that way, the resonance of the instrument goes through my own skeletal system and my own body a lot more. And I'm resonating with the instrument and creating more of an impact working together with the instrument. Alright, now up here, back to the Anahata, the heart chakra, which is the strongest chakra and so when you're directing your kundalini energy down from the top and up from the bottom you want to send it all to meet up in the heart chakra and that'll make you a much more potent magician able to create more positive vibrations in the world uh, just for the sake of finishing it we'll do we'll do the F Syllable yam, sound A. Yam. Etc. Throat chakra, which keeps falling as I try to express myself. Uh, that's a syllable hum, sound E. Note G. Um, thinking about expressing myself. Um, e. All right, we're almost done here. We're up to the third eye, and that's the syllable om, um, and the sound ma, and. All right, we're up to A. Um, divine reasoning. All right, and then the last one, um, also just like this one, syllable um, and uh, or the sound um. And the note B, very divine note. Uh, um, um. All right, so as you practice this meditation, 
You're going to want to spend a longer time than I just did on each of them. I'm just demonstrating for you real quick, but, you know, you want to really start feeling it and get it going, get that kundalini working through the system and through the universe, and this is going to really help make some change in the world and in the universe if you think these positive thoughts and creating it, creating strength within your own chakras is going to project out holographically to the rest of the universe because as within so without you know that so good luck practicing your meditations thank you for listening i love you